According to Chinese Commerce Ministry, as the world's largest trading nation, China also leads the world in pay in foreign investment and outbound investment. With a population of 1.4 billion and a 400 million strong middle income group, the Chinese Commerce Ministry says the country enjoys the advantage of a super-sized market. China is the world's second biggest consumption market, next to the U.S. The total retail sales of consumer goods almost doubled from 2012 to 2020, reaching more than 39 trillion yuan or 6 trillion U.S. dollars last year. Consumption remains the strongest engine for China's role, and the Commerce Ministry emphasized the big measures Beijing is taking to further boost consumption. We'll first upgrade the traditional consumption areas, including home appliances, furniture, catering, and vehicles. We especially believe that there will be a large used car market in the future. We will also cultivate new types of consumption, including contactless distribution and door-to-door -door services. We have also been building international consumption cities and are taking a series of measures to promote consumption. The World Trade Organization is going to hold a 12th ministerial-level meeting in December. Chinese Vice Commerce Minister Wang Shouwen says the WTO is facing severe challenges. But China firmly supports the WTO's rules and agrees to take necessary reforms while safeguarding the multilateral trading system. We hope the meeting can achieve positive results in the negotiations involving fishing subsidies, fighting the COVID-19 pandemic, e-commerce and trade. We also hope the meeting will make some arrangements to the WTO's appellate body. And China will firmly support the general director to organize and coordinate the WTO to have effective negotiations. If the meeting can make progress on these fronts, Wang says it can strengthen the international community's confidence in the WTO's effectiveness and authority.